Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial how to model this kayak in Shaper 3D. In this episode I will show you all the necessary sketches we only have to create and then introduce you to an interesting modeling technique how out of very simplified pieces of geometry to sculpt the kayak body. And then we will finish everything by going to the visualization tool and create a really nice and good looking product presentation of the kayak. And with all that said, let's do it. Before we continue, set the unit system to millimeters. We are in top view and we have all our snapping elements turned on. Let's go to sketch. We draw a horizontal and from the midpoint, a vertical line. Both lines we make horizontally vertically constrained. The vertical line we dimension to 300 and the horizontal we dimension to 5000 millimeters. We move this point to the origin of our sketch. Now we can go to spline fit point and start drawing from the left point through the point here to the end point there. These two lines were construction helpers. We don't need those anymore. Let's delete them. To make sure this fit point spline does not get removed, changed, let's lock it. Then with a finger, go into a 3D view, we go to the right view, we zoom in, sketch. What you see now on the left side is a small point. That's the intersection of this construction plane with the first spline we created. We will draw a line from that point to the origin of our sketch and a line down. Both should be 300 millimeters. I lock those so they don't move. Let's go back to spline, control point. From here, I start drawing down, go to here, press, press, and go to the end and release the uh, pencil. I would like to adjust the position of these points a little bit. I move them closer to tighten the curve and I move actually these points also away from the vertical or horizontal alignment. This way these sides are slightly tilted. Very good. So close sketch, go into a 3D view. We have now a half of a profile. We can select the profile, select the spline and sweep. Now we have half of a boat. Go to a side view, double tap the body, more, mirror, tap on the grid, keep originals on, click done. We have now two bodies. Both bodies we will join together with the union command. These additional extra faces we will select and delete. As you see, when we do this, the software will repair the geometry. And instead of having holes, it simply extends the surface to the end. Perfect. Now we have a really nicely sculpted kayak body. The midsection is nice and white and the ends are nicely shaped. The top part is a little bit flat. We would like to work on this. So let's go to the side view again. I will hide the body. Select this, this sketch. This is the one we would like to work on. We will draw another line to the right. Both lines should be 180 degree, horizontally aligned and equal. Equal makes this one as long as this one. Let's draw a small line up 120 millimeters. That's again a helper geometry line. We go to fit point spline and start drawing from here through the midpoint down to there. Release this. There we are. So you see with this line, I simply make sure that this midpoint is at the correct height position and also vertically aligned to this line. Very good. What we will do now next is we need to have three profiles for a loft command. We have one. So I make uh, a copy. I have this profile selected. Go to move, click 
the copy command and then I move this a little bit to the end. It does not have to go to the end point perfectly. Then this top spline I will select and just move down. Just a little bit like this, very good. And then here, these two lines I will delete. Actually, I'll go back. I want to select this profile, double tap, very good, there we are. And I draw one line here horizontal, and then these two lines I can delete. You see when I go into a 3D view now, we have here a much smaller element. So this line and this spline I can select, close, see this object is still selected. I can select mirror, select this profile. I have to then however adjust the target option. So you see um, this sketch I mirror over to the right side. Click done, very good. Now I can go ahead and select this profile, select this profile, select this profile, there we are, and do a loft. Beautiful. We start having a lot of objects here, so I select all the sketches, put them into a folder and hide that folder. Here's my kayak. I can give this a name so it's easier to see. Very good. Now, now the top surface of the kayak is flat and we have this lofted body which has a nice organic surface. And what I can do now in direct modeling, I can select one surface and then I select a target surface and say replace the first surface with the second surface. Think about it like the flat surface is being folded over this organic rounded surface. It even, as you can see here at the ends, extends the surface. Click done, there we are. You see this perfectly matches it. So that's the reason why I also said don't move it till the end because then we here we have a small triangular surface we could select. This piece we don't need anymore. Here now, as you can see, we have a beautiful kayak. The bottom is nicely sculpted. The top part is nicely sculpted too. We have very sharp edges. Let's round those. So I can select this edge, give this 20 millimeters. This is good. We have this also at the end. Then we can select another edge, round those by 10 millimeters and we get a really nice fillet corner, this one. Very good. Somebody has to sit in it, so we need to create an opening. I go to a top view, go to the center, sketch, ellipse, and create a small ellipse here. I can select this ellipse, move this a little bit like this. So this is where uh, I would store something in. And then here, this is where I would sit. So I can bring this a little bit over. Very nice. The sketch, as you can see, is however inside the body. Check this out. I hide the kayak body. Select this, this um, ellipse, click close. And then I can move this away. And you see here, I have a new sketch now. Pretty nice, no? Yeah. This is very useful because what we can do now is I select this ellipse, double tap, that moves the grid onto the plane or position of this ellipse. Then I can go to here and I will start drawing here a line. So there's a line. This uh, line we can specify to be 450 millimeters. It's going to be another construction helper. Here we draw two lines. All three lines we make horizontally vertically constrained. 
and the length of or the distance between these two points should be around 880 millimeters. And then when I move this a little bit left and right, you can see how we yeah, design a cross. So this midpoint now I move onto the grid and make sure this aligns with the, um, the kayak. So you see, this has to be a little bit further away. We can sculpt this a little bit more. Perfect. Now with this cross done, we can now go to the fit point spline and start drawing, press and press and press and release a fit point spline through all these points. This construction cross, I don't need anymore. It was just a helper. There we are. This looks very good. So what I can do now is I will select uh, each profile and then extrude this into the kayak body. These cuts are very good. We can see, however, that we have straight edges, vertical edges, I mean. Let's add a little bit of a draft to it. So we can move this arrow here a little bit. There. So if we take a look from the top, there we see, slightly drafted. The openings got a little bit smaller. That's no big problem. We can see that with this command here, offset the surface, we can slide, kind of like the surface back. We can go into a top view and look at this. They're perfectly a match, very nice. At this point, it will make sense to select all these upper edges and we give those a nice fillet. Then we can select the lower edges, a smaller fillet. Here, I noticed I have to make this a little bit smaller. So I hit undo. And this surface, I can move down a little bit more. There. You see how easy it is to adjust everything. We can even move this face up and down and we can do the same here. And the fillet actually goes with it. Here and there, we would like to have a small lip going around. Let me show you how we can do this. So when I select this face on the left side, now we have offset edge. I click on it and then this edge I can offset 30 millimeters. This is good. And here I will do the same, 30 millimeters. Very nice. The reason why I did this is now we can cut actually through here. But before we do this cut, we have to cord this out. So let's go to a left view or right view. We turn on the section cut, double tap the object, and then go to shell. And then there we type in five millimeters material thickness. Very good. You see this actually cored out the whole object. And because we have these two sketches, you can select these two profiles and extrude into the body and cut the opening. Beautiful. Very good. These two sketches, I will also move into this folder. Let's create a handle. We can go to here. I will draw myself kind of like a line. 
This line should be around 160 millimeters. Very good. And then I can also from this midpoint draw a line up. These two should be perpendicular constraint. And then this should be around 60 millimeters. Okay, so what I can do now is I will use the fit point spline and draw from here to there to there myself a nice curve. I can adjust, for example, the shape more. Then I can select this handle, move this away, and you see I get a really nice profile. So the whole thing I can select, move down, there we are. This point I move a little bit up, lock it. This point is good. Here, this handle now I can bring over. This point I can move up because you see the other point is locked. I can nicely rotate the sketch. Very good. This line was a helper. This line was a helper. I can unlock this. This is perfect. Now, along this Fit point spline close. I would like to go at a plane that flows along it. There we are. This plane I select with a finger double tap. There again is my intersection point. There I can add a circle. We set the circle to 20 millimeters diameter. And this plane I don't need anymore. I delete it. I select the profile, select this path, and do a sweep command. There's my handle. Sketch as I move into there. And there we are. You see, so easy it is to model this. I can double tap this, go to the left view. So this is important. Left orthographic, mirror command, under more, tap on the grid, done. I brought this over. Then I will double tap this one more time. Go to copy, move this over. This is somewhere in there, so I don't see it. So I will turn off the copy command, go to a 3D view and move this to the side to expose it. And look how beautiful it or and how easy it is to 3D position this perfectly. There. We can peek to the inside and see does it intersect much? It does not. Very good. This will be handled behind us. Also, this object I would like to mirror over to the other side. So double tap, side view, more, mirror, tap, keep original on, done. There we are. Very good. All these objects I can select, make union. Here, by the way, I have the option to keep all the originals, which is what I will do. Click done. And then we have to see where is the result. This is the result. Perfect. So all those I move into a new folder. So you see I have a backup and here is the new body we created. I will go to a side view, turn on the section cut so it's easier to see. And I would like to peek around other some elements to clean up. So for example, here, I will select this face and this face and click delete to remove it. See there it's gone. Go to the side view, cut section view. Here I have, for example, the same two. Turn cut section off, very good. So then you can do the same with the other two handles. Very nice. That's how easy it is to model actually a kayak. Now let's make a handle, go to the top view. Close uh, sketch. I will draw here a line. 
this line should be 1000 millimeters. Very good. Then at the end, I will draw another line, 500 millimeters. Then I go to the uh, control point. I can then from here start drawing up, press. It's important this was actually perpendicular. Then I go to here. This is now where the pedal gets really wide. Press one time, press, and then go down. You see also here these two points are perpendicular to each other, like there. And then I can start sculpting this shape. That's how easy how you can model the, the pedal. This piece I would like to bring over to the other side. So I have this selected, exit sketch, more mirror, select this line and mirror this over. Pretty cool, yeah. I can then, if I want to, select points in tandem and move them around. But these points here, I don't really want to touch anymore. They are perfectly positioned. What is missing is a thickness for the handle. So along this line, exit sketch, add plane, we create a new construction plane. Select the plane, finger double tap. There's our snapping point, circle. 20 millimeters, very good. And then this profile, I extrude by 1000. This construction plane we can delete. Here, I will do another extrude. Move this to here, and then I click on this icon and say new body. The main reason why I did this is now I can select this and go to scale and this edge I scale down. And then this edge selected one more time, I can round. So you see this way, seen from the top, the tube gets a little bit more thinner. Beautiful. We have these two profiles. I will select both, hit the isolate button, lower left corner. This makes it very easy to uh, extend it one direction, so 10 millimeters, and then the other direction, I go another 10 millimeters up. Very good. Unheight, sketch I can height now. So this is too thick. We can adjust so easy elements later. You see, if I select this and set this to five, how this goes down. So I want this to be um, 10 millimeters at the end. So I set this to 15 and then I select the opposite side and set this to 10. You see how I'm shrinking that surface. Beautiful. Okay. And because this is one centimeter material thickness, I can select each round and round it by five millimeters. There. If we want to make this a little bit thinner, then here we adjust this one more time, eight and six. And then I, since it's eight millimeters, now this would be four. And then we have perfectly round ends. Very good. You see, this is really nice. This and this and this object, I can union together into one piece. The whole object I will select and then go to more mirror, sell, click on the cap and make a mirror to the other side. There we are. Beautiful. Now we have modeled actually the kayak and the handle. Now it's time to bring everything into the visualization tool. So I'll select it. There we are. And you will see that there is something happening. So what's happening is actually the kayak is cutting through the ground. So we will go back, select everything, and move this up a little bit. Oh, here's a copy. 
is deleted. Very good. This is all right above the ground, so nothing will be cut. This is very good. There you, you see now the difference. And we have very beautiful drop shadows. So let's add materials to it quickly. We can select ABS mat, drag this onto the boat. Very nice. Then I would like to change the color. So I select the used material. And then I'm inside the color selector. I have down here a predefined material already. There we are. I would like these handles to be black. So I select them, change the color to something dark gray. There's no pure black and pure white. There we are, click done. And look, we have actually a new material created automatically. So I can then select all the handles very easily. Just select the faces, change, and now I select the material. The really nice aspect is if I go ahead and change the material, you see all objects using that material are getting that color changed. I drag the black material also onto the handle that colorizes everything all at once. And then I will select few faces that would define this tube-like geometry. Don't forget also at the bottom, there we are. And here, and then there we change this to something white, done. Very good. There we are. Here, I will select this and give this the black ABS material. Let's go to environment. We also have here a nice set of options, color background, transparent background. We have a gradient. We have also various environmental images. We can, when we click on the cock, go ahead, rotate this around the light. It's very nice. And when we go to the um, colored background, so we have a, a colored single color or a colored single color background and a colored gradient background, we can then select a really nice watery color that would go well with the kayak presentation. There we are. Make the drop shadow go more to the back. Light always comes from the left. And to bring this to an end, we have various standard views, top view, bottom view, front. These are like the orthographic standard views, very good to make uh, an image for kind of like a dimensional presentation. And if we would like to create a nice dramatic view, then we can go into a 3D view, go to appearance and play with the perspective distortion. Something a little bit like this feels really good. This can make the kayak look very, very dramatic. And then to capture an image, you click capture upper left corner. And that's it.